Mr. I'm here. Deirdre, welcome back. I've been observing you with a great deal of interest. You have? Yes, your, your last assignment went very well. Then I passed the test. Well, I'm afraid not. But it went well enough to put you in the finals. I thought I had already won. Well, don't be disappointed. Only three students a year have the honor of testing for the rank of Master Witch, with full powers and privileges. Who else is in the running? Uh, Wendy and Tanya are in the finals with you. But that's not your concern. Only you can earn your chance to be full rank witch. What is my assignment then? Uh, watch closely, I'll show you. Hey, Richard. Planning on staying the night? Oh, boy. Where does the time go? Where's the fire? Well, it's going to be at my house in about 15 minutes if I don't get home. Oh, a big night with the missus. Actually, we're having dinner with Mr. Vaughn at uh, Chianti's. Our CEO? How'd you pull that one off? Actually, Kristen set it up. She sure wants you to succeed, doesn't she? Yeah, well, sometimes I wish she wouldn't try so hard. Don't knock it. She means well. She just wants you to get that promotion at Director of European Expansion. Yeah, I think she wants it more than I do. Face it, buddy. It's the cush job of a lifetime. I'd give my eye teeth for it myself, but you're first in line seniority-wise. Uh, all I'm saying is that I can climb the corporate ladder all by myself. And a fine job you've done of it, too. Have a good dinner and wine and dine the pants off the old geezer. I'll give it my best shot. Have a good evening. See ya. Who is that man? He is your next assignment. I don't understand. Now watch closely, you will. see you too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to finish getting ready. And you're late. Oh, I, I had a lot of last minute office stuff. You know, the work's never finished. Yeah, more than likely you were gabbing with Greg. I can assure you I wasn't gabbing. Well, whatever it was, I'm sure it could have waited. This is important, Richard. Your whole future depends on how well you do tonight. You know, you know I, I want to talk to you about, about the dinner. You're not going to wear that, are you? I was planning on it. Why don't you wear that other suit? It's more power-oriented. Face it, darling. You'd be digging ditches if it weren't for me. Kristen? I, uh, heard too much coffee makes you jumpy, dear. I'll go get ready. Yes, and it's only going to get worse for him. So my assignment is to help straighten out the problems in his marriage? Well, that's just the beginning. Evil forces are at work in his life. Trouble comes in many forms. But before it's over, he will lose his self-respect, his job, and his faith in the goodness of mankind. Oh, dear. We can't let that happen. I understand. It won't be easy. You'll have to use all the magic you can produce to get through this one. Can I take Gus the ghost with me? If you like. But you must hurry. They're in a rush and you don't want to miss them. Goodbye, Master. Good luck.
Who can that be? I don't know, but whoever it is, you get rid of them because we're going to be late. Ah, Mr. Pearson, may I come in? Do you realize what time it is? It's 7.17. Hello, Mrs. Pearson, yes. My name is Brendan Moran. Uh, hello. I'm a social worker, licensed by the state. Uh, what can I do for you, Miss Moran? Well, I'm very sorry, but you know, your, your cousin Adam passed away. I, uh... I don't remember ever having a cousin Adam. Oh, of course not, but he's many, many times removed, but he remembered you. In fact, he remembered you in his will. How much? Oh, about this much. <laughs> you want to see it? Did you bring it with you? <laughs> there she is. What? Yes, he requested that, uh, that you take custody of his daughter. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, the alternative is that you go to a foster home, or even worse, uh, an orphanage. Fine. Hi, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> Listen, I got a great idea. Why don't you folks spend the weekend together and I'll come back on Monday and see how everything's going and pick her up. Uh, Richard! It's a deal. Wow, great. Have a nice weekend. See you Monday morning. <laughs> I smell magic in the air. I'm sorry to hear about your mommy and daddy, sweetie. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Call me Richard. I don't think so. Okay. How about Uncle Richard? Okay. Can I call you Auntie Kristen? Mrs. Pearson will be just fine. Tell you what, uh, why don't you run upstairs and go explore the house, and then we'll talk a little bit later. Sure. Oh, talk about a Kodak moment. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Why don't you have any compassion for that little girl at all? Yes, I just don't see that it should get in the way of business. I mean, need I remind you? No, 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 you don't have to remind me. I mean, I know Mr. Vaughn is waiting for us. I just think that it's, it's a little important that we, we get her settled first. Richard, I was I know, only... I, I know. There's, there's an old proverb that says, uh, uh, what profiteth a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? I, I'm just saying think about it, okay? I, I'm gonna go call a babysitter. Uh, I'll help her get unpacked. Then we'll leave. <laughs> All right, so uh, if there's anything you need, anything you want, uh, just let us know. Oh, I'm fine, Uncle Richard. Okay. Richard, would you explain to our guest how we need to be going? Oh, it's already handled. Uh, when I was upstairs, I called the babysitting service, and in fact, they should be here uh, anytime. Well, hi. I'm Richard Pearson. Uh, this is my wife, Kristen. And over here is Deirdre. Hi. Hi, I'm Jenny Kincaid. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I, uh, I told your service that uh, we wouldn't be long, probably just a couple of hours. Oh, that's okay. I brought along a lot of books to study. Hey, terrific. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm stunned. Uh, we'll be back soon, Pumpkin. Take your time. We're fine. Pumpkin? Your parents going out for the anniversary or something? Oh, they're not my parents. They're just taking care of me. Oh, I'm sorry. But you seem to get along with Mr. Pearson, okay? Yeah, he's real neat. What about Mrs. Pearson? Oh, there's nothing wrong with her that a personality transplant wouldn't cure. <laughs> 
So you want to play a game? Well, sure. What do you have? You'll see. I think we're overdressed. No, it's okay, sweetie. Mr. Vaughn's a little unconventional sometimes. You must be Mr. Vaughn. So sorry to keep you waiting. We had a last minute emergency. No problem. Nothing serious, I hope. Uh, no, sir. My uh, niece is gonna be staying with us for a little while. A very little while. Her parents on vacation, is that it? No, um, actually they're... <laughs> no, sir. I see. Well, would you like a drink? Sweetheart, what would you like? I'll have a white wine, and he'll have scotch on the rocks. Edgar. There is something going on at that Pearson house. I'm gonna go find out what it is. Have fun, dear. Babysitter, who are you? Huh. The Pearsons don't have any children. She's just visiting. Well, I just wanted to say hello. Hello. You still haven't answered my question. Who are you? Mrs. Kenner. My husband and I live across the street. I was just walking by and I noticed some unfamiliar people in here. Must be pretty hard to look inside this house from across the street. Well, I... You know, that's to say that... Uh, it was nice meeting you, Mrs. Kenner. You too, dear. Come along. Why don't you come back when the Pearsons are home? Good night. Good night. Bye. See you later. <laughs> you won this game. What do you want to do now? You said you have to study. Oh, I'll do that after you go to bed. I'm not really tired. What are you studying? World history. It is so tough. I have a test on Monday. I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. Sure you will. I'll help you. I don't know. I kind of like to cram by myself. Trust me. I'll go upstairs and change into my old clothes, and then when I come back down, we'll start. Okay. about two years now. Actually, we met at a uh, company barbecue. I didn't know you worked for me. I don't. Uh, she was a friend of Greg Allen's. So, you spotted each other across a crowd and romance blossomed? Something like that. Well, it's nice to know love can bloom in this cutthroat business world. Are you married, Mr. Vaughn? Sadly, no. That's the price I paid to build my own company. Well, what's this about a niece living with you? Well, actually, her, uh, her parents died recently. That's sad. I'm very sorry. Is she holding up pretty well? Well, yeah, she, uh, she seems to be. Richard, I think it's wonderful of you to take on this responsibility. It shows grit. And that's exactly what I want working for me and with me. That's just what I was telling Richard.
Well, it's nose powdering time, as they used to say. Would you excuse me? She's full of life, isn't she? <laughs> She's full of something. <laughs> but I love her. Nice, dear. Now go take your medicine. I am going to get to the bottom of this. Now this is a sample test. If I can ace this, the real thing should be a snap. Cool. Ready? Shoot. Who was the enemy general that Napoleon faced at Waterloo? Um, General Lawford? Wellington. True or false, Alexander the Great was 16 when he conquered the known world. True. You're guessing. It's false. I'm never gonna get this. Yes, you will. Just relax. It'll come to you. I can't. Just close your eyes. Breathe deeply. So, let's try that again. Ancient Egypt, who was the god of the sun? Ra. Right, good. Which English king was also known as Longshanks? Edward I. When did he rule? 1272 to 1307. How did I know that? It was always in there, you just unlocked it. Care to go for more? You bet. I must say, I was surprised to get Kristen's dinner invitation. Normally, it's the employee himself who makes the invite when he wants to kiss up to the boss. Kiss up? Sir, I can assure you that's not what I intended. Relax, Richard. I know you better than you think, and that's why I like you. You're your own man, in spite of your wife. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And that's why I want to give you a crack at director of European expansion. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, drat. Now we're gonna have to adopt that little snip just to keep that old geezer happy. influential investors flying in Sunday night. If we can get a long-term commitment from him, our future in Europe is secure. So you want me to take part in the negotiations? No, Richard. I'd like you to handle the negotiations exclusively. Are you game? <laughs> the last time I said I was game, somebody took a shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> then it's settled. They'll be in Monday morning. Why don't we raise a toast to the whole thing and... something. Let's, I got a little dart gun here, a little dart, point it towards the camera. Hold on. Whoa! Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, I get another shot. Even the son of ghoul gets two shots. <laughs> if you can get the dart in. <laughs> All right, check this out. <laughs> Boom! <Bullseye! laughs> now that's scary. Oh, I don't know. I think the son of ghoul's kind of cute. I watch him every Friday night. <laughs> Tonight. Well, I am. Um, you do have one, don't you? Of course, I have a boyfriend. It's just that. It's just that, well, he is way too busy being the star quarterback for the football team, that's all. 
If you were my boyfriend, I'd wear a school ring around my neck. Well, you would, would you? Just how old are you anyway? Look, he did give it to me, okay? It's just that I just don't have it with me right now, that's all. I'm gonna get a soda. You want something? No, thanks. I'm fine. Hey, look what I found. What is it? Your boyfriend's ring. <laughs> but that can't be because I don't even... Look, I don't understand what's going on here. It's for you. Oh, yeah, right. Next, you're gonna tell me it's Joe Morgan or something. Trust me. Hello? Jenny, hey, it's Joe Morgan. Say I called your house and they told me you were there. Uh, Joe? Joe Morgan as in the star quarterback of the football team, Joe? Yeah, I was wondering if you'd like to go to the homecoming dance with me Saturday night, unless you've already got a date. Oh, no, me have a date? Are you kidding? I mean, well, yeah, I have a date, but I'd but I cancel it. I'd love to go out with you. Great. I'm looking forward to seeing you next Monday. Bye, Jenny. Uh, bye. This, this is way too weird. I don't know what's going on here, but I know you're behind it. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I'm a witch. <laughs> you're a witch. And I'm Cinderella. A bit theatrical, I know, but it gets the point across. You're home early. Yeah, well, <laughs> Honey, Kristen wasn't feeling too well. So, uh, sweetie, baby, why don't you go ahead and head up to bed and I'll be up there in a few minutes, all right? <laughs> well, so, uh, how'd everything go? It was, uh, interesting. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, you know what? Here you go. There's a little extra there for you, too. Thanks. Bye, Deirdre. Bye. Bye. Oh, boy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, why don't you go upstairs and sleep tight, okay? Okay. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> I got a wacko wife, but I've got a perfect kid. <sighs> Could be worse. <laughs> well, good afternoon, sleepyhead. I was just about to come in and throw cold water on you. What time is it? Almost 11. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, uh, hey, sweetie. Got some good news for you. Looks like your plan paid off. What? Well, you weren't in any shape to hear about it last night, but uh, looks like Mr. Vaughn's going to give me a crack at the European expansion. Yes! Excellent! Well, it's, uh, it's not for sure yet. Uh, it all hinges on a client meeting Monday morning. If I can secure them, I'm in. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, where's that kid? Um, Deirdre, I... She was playing outside, but I think actually she's in her room now. It's the spare room. It 
That's not her room. No. It's her room for as long as she's here. Which won't be very long. I don't know. Um, actually, I was thinking... Oh, no, you don't. I didn't sign up to play mommy. Fine. Where are you going? I just need to get some air. That rotten kid. Hi, Mrs. Kenner. How you doing? <laughs> I didn't realize that you had a little house guest. Well, you know, something we weren't aware of it either until last night. It was a bit of a surprise to both of us. Well, where are her parents? They're deceased. Under um, mysterious circumstances? You know, Mrs. Kenner, I really don't know. Well, has anything strange happened to you since last night? You know, Mrs. Kenner, I really don't know where this is going, but I've got a really busy day, so if you'll please excuse me. Oh, he's up to something, all right. I'm gonna go find out what it is. Hey, Bozo. Yes, Mr. Vespucci. Not to worry, sir. It's all arranged. You better hope so, big shot. I'm putting a lot of faith in you, and I don't like to be disappointed. You won't be. I told you, it's clear. You say lots, but your delivery's shaky. This time, I can't lose. When I get that job, I'll be in prime position to help you overseas networks. The sky's the limit. All the smuggling opportunities and especially money laundering. It's a whole new world. It better be, Bozo. Otherwise, you'll be seeing a whole new world from a 4 by 6 plot in the Mojave Desert. So, this wipes out the 20 grand I owe you? Maybe. Maybe we break your legs anyway. Hey, we had a deal. You should have got it in writing. Bozo. <laughs> Whatever happened to honest crooks? Have you seen anything strange? I don't have to look for strange when I'm already married to it. Such a comedian. Don't quit your day job. I've seen girls before. I used to like them before I married one. Edgar, will you get over here? <sighs> well, Mr. Smarty Pants? What is it? What do you see? A shrink could write a whole set of books about you, Ethel. Okay. Okay. No more Mrs. Nice Guy. Hello, Wendy. Dear Jeff. Tanya. We just popped in to see how you were doing with your assignment. A little rough at first, tougher than I suspected. But things might work out OK. And you? My new family's such a drag. I might have to turn my foster father into a frog. But it's what he deserves. I have the same problem. We really must be going. We're not supposed to be comparing notes, you know. And I see you have chores to do. Oh, and by the way, Master would like to see you. Me? Now. <sighs> well, here it goes.
wanted to see me, Master? Yes. I've been concerned about the way you've been handling things. I don't understand. When I allowed you to take Gus along with you, I didn't know you were going to use him to terrify Mrs. Pearson or the neighbors. Mrs. Kenner is more than deserving of what she gets. I mean, if she had her way, my assignment and Richard's happiness would both be destroyed. And what of Mrs. Pearson? She's just mean and evil. But Richard still loves her. <sighs> I know. I feel very sorry for the man. If I am to help him, I must solve the problems that exist between them. I believe that Mrs. Pearson needs a new point of view to allow herself to change. I decided that she needed a little... shaking up. Yes, but you mustn't frighten her to death. Of course, Master. You must accomplish your mission. You may go now. Thank you, Master. Goodbye. Nonsense. Of course you can make it. Well, I know it's short notice, but everyone will be here. Terrific. I'll see you then. Bye. Hey, sweetie. Uh, Deirdre and I are going to the store. You want to come? I have calls to make. We're having a cocktail party tomorrow evening. Cocktail party? What for? Well, you have to have more connections, Richard. Especially if this pans out on Monday. Don't you think that uh, we should have talked about this first? Nothing to talk about. I have it all arranged. Oh. I see. So you've got my life all sewn up for me. Is that it? Richard, don't be like that. I've got to go. Deirdre's waiting for me. Richard! 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 Speak to me. Hi, Greg. It's me, Kristen. Long time no here. What's the word? Um, I'm having a cocktail party tomorrow night, and I want to make sure that you'd be there. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why not? If Richard should get suspicious, it could blow everything. Well, more likely he'd be suspicious if you weren't there. You make it sound like we're having an affair. Well, you're going to wish that we were if anything leaks out. Now, I'll see you tomorrow. Sure, what time? Uh, anytime after six. You got it. See you. So, a shriek could write a whole shelf of books about me, could he? A library. We'll just see about that. Sweetie, can you pass me the pepper, please? Very much. So, how long are you going to be giving me the silent treatment? I'm not giving you the silent treatment. I just don't have anything to say. Not to me, but you talk just fine to her. You know, I, I really don't want to talk about this right now. Why don't, uh, why don't we change the subject, okay? How was your day? <laughs> Fine. Come in. Hi, sweetie. Uh, so we all snug and toasty? Yep. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Sure. You can ask me anything. Do you and Kristen still love each other? Whoa. <laughs> That is a question. Um, I used to think so, but maybe not. Was she always like this? No. She used to be completely full of life, happy to be alive. But, uh, I don't know, something happened. I only wish I knew what it was. She's become so busy that she's forgotten how to love. You're a wise little girl, aren't you? 
You're tough, too. I'm gonna tell you something. I know what you're going through. I lost my parents when I was very, very young. And I want you to know that it's okay to cry. I know. You can ask me anything, anytime, no matter what. I love you, Uncle Richard. I love you too, sweetie. Good night. Good night. You're driving me nuts. Can we put on some light? No! The Pearsons will see me. Save me a lot of trouble if they did. I am telling you, there's something unnatural about that little girl, and I am gonna prove it! Oh, schmoove. I'm gonna watch TV. to do this to you, old friend, but it's the only way. Oh, oh, oh. I got you now, you little wizard. <laughs> I know I'm bending the rules a bit, but if Kristen gets her way, she'll ruin everything. Okay, smile. Oh, you're gonna make your neighbor lady very, very rich. <laughs> oh, oh. Go on back to sleep for a while, but be ready. Medicating again, dear. Over medicate this. Look in the viewfinder. What? You never saw somebody talking to an imaginary friend before? It's a ghost. She conjured him up just like she did last night. No, oh, I don't see anything. Maybe it doesn't show up on video. Maybe you've been watching too much TV. I am not out of ideas yet. Out of your mind, maybe. What was that? Yeah, uh, nothing, dear. nice of you to come by. Oh, well, it's no bother at all. I play golf every weekend just a few blocks from here. Really? Richard's quite the golfer. Maybe you two should get together for a few holes. Well, if he has the time, have him give me a call. Of course. Would you excuse me? I need to check on the hors d'oeuvres. Sure. I was talking with the Chicago contingent. They're a little worried about what's going on in Russia. Absolutely. You heard anything? Absolutely. Excuse me. It's a heck of a place you got here, Pearson. What did it set you back? Uh, you know, we've actually been here for a while. I, I don't even remember. You're in a market to sell. We're not. 
we're not uh, considering, but you know, if, if we change our mind, we'll keep you in mind. <laughs> Don't be so quick, Rich. You may want to move, especially when you're confirmed as uh, director of European expansion. <laughs> Oh, I don't have the job yet. That's not what I hear. So you're the one it's going to. And why not? Carlton Vaughn's known for his seniority first policy, and Richie here is uh, first in line on the totem pole. Yeah, well, I'd also like to think it's because of my work record, too. <laughs> of course, I would have said that if you've given me the chance. <clears throat> Speaking of, you might want to chat up the old man. He's uh, looking awfully lonely over there. What are you and Kristen up to? Come again? I just mean with uh, friends like you in my corner, how can I lose? <laughs> Excuse me. Thanks. <laughs> he seems a little tense. Yeah, I, I hope it's just a promotion. What else could it be? Nothing, never mind. Come on, Greg, out with it. It's not my place to say. I never stopped you before. Out with it. Well, there have been a few inconsistencies lately. Little things that just didn't add up. Like what? Departmental expense accounts. I was going over his vouchers, and they're way above normal. You're not suggesting... I didn't even want to think about it. The man's taken me under his wing and taught me everything I know. I'm not going to think him out. Don't you think Mr. Vaughn should know about this? Maybe, maybe not. It's not up to me, and I'm taking an awful chance telling you. Keep it quiet, right? Sure. Don't you... No buts. Now, excuse me. Um, we got it. 14. 14's good. Nice stump. Has a ring to it. <laughs> a little jumpy, are we? Yeah, my nerves are getting a little ragged. Well, it won't be long until this will all be over. Oh, I hope so. You know it will. I've already planted the seeds. Little Richie takes the fall, and is next in line for promotion, I move into his place. You're sure this will work? It's flawless. If he's going to keep the job, he'll have to land the investor in tomorrow's meeting. And there's no way he'll be able to pull it off with what I've got cooked up for him. I still get my share, right? As we agreed from the beginning. I was thinking, we work so well together. What? Maybe we ought to try a team-up of another guy. I don't think that would be such a good idea, Greg. Think about it. You and me united against common enemies? We'll crush them and rule like Caesar and Cleopatra. Caesar and Cleopatra never ruled together. <laughs> don't bother me with details. Think about it. But not too long. I won't wait forever. I'll keep that in mind. Just about have this mess cleaned up. You know, it's actually funny that you say that. I was thinking the exact same thing. What do you mean by that? Well, case in point, I want you to promise me that this is going to be the last one of these little parties that you ever throw without at least discussing it with me first, OK? We've already been over this. Right, I know we've been over this, but I think we need to go over it again. And the reason why is because Mr. Vaughn came up to me tonight point blank, and he said, Richard, do you always let your wife make all of your decisions for you? Richard, I never intended. I know exactly what you intended, and I really appreciate it. But you almost blew your own plans for my success. And wouldn't that have been just a little ironic? I'm going to go take a walk. Can I come along? Of course you can come along. But you have to walk like this, huh? Huh? Walk like this. Loser.
backwoods of the Everglades. In the TV. The boys had only no. The storekeeper's woman no, that was across the street. Let's see anything. What a surprise. <laughs> what? What? what is that? What? <gasps> Whatever killed those people is still alive. roller coaster and when you get down to the bottom bam you're doing 100 miles an hour wow can we go i think we can arrange that <laughs> you know what sweetie next day off i have we're gonna do whatever you want to do cool all right <gasps> kristen Sweetie, what's wrong? Baby, what happened? Kristen! It's okay, it's okay. Give me the broom. Okay. It's always stress, sweetie. Come on. It's okay, let's go upstairs. Everything's okay. Weekend? It's, uh, <laughs> there's been moments. <laughs> I'd be surprised if there hadn't have been. Actually, uh, the reason that I stopped by is that, uh, well, I was hoping that you could keep Deirdre for another one or two days. No! Ah, uh, see, I'm sorry, but there's been a, a few snags in the uh, foster care, but, uh, it should all be worked out by Wednesday. It's, it's no problem at all. Uh, I mean, provided, uh, well, Deirdre doesn't mind. Ah. Uh, Splendid. So, 
Where is the little darling, anyway? Well, uh, actually, she's uh, out on the patio. Oh. May I? Please, feel free. <laughs> I'm almost there, Brendan. The clock is ticking, girl. So just remember, you only get one shot at this. I know. But Kristen isn't making it easy. In all my 214 years, I've never met such a nasty person. It makes me wonder who the witch in this house really is. Where did you get to be my age? You haven't seen anything yet. Well, 48 more hours, Deirdre. <laughs> and if you pass the test, your apprenticeship is over. You'll become a full rank master witch with all the connecting privileges. We've never talked about what will happen if I fail. If something very bad will happen. Mm. Good luck, girl. We'll send him in. <clears throat> Sorry to bother you, Mr. Vaughn, but something's been brought to my attention and I think you should know about it. Sounds serious. It is. It's about Richard Pearson. You're not gonna like it. Sorry to be the one to bring you this bad news. <laughs> Where have you been, man? The suits have been waiting for 20 minutes. Yeah, I had some last minute home stuff to take care of. Fight with the missus later. This is showtime. All right, don't start. I'm, I'm on top of it. Have you got a strategy mapped? Yes. I'm gonna use a, a classic military strategy. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> All right, go get him. May I present Richard Pearson, our Director of European Expansion. I'm John Dorn. Mr. Dorn. This is Claire Windsor, International Investment Banking Consortium. It's a pleasure. Please have a seat. Uh, so, tell me, what can we do for each other? Well, we were rather impressed with your initial presentation. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Got to do something about this mess. Actually, that sounds very reasonable, but there's one other point that I'd like to mention. Uh, Mr. Dorn, Miss Windsor, I'm sorry for this interruption, but I need to speak with Richard. Well, actually, sir, I was just about... Now. Right away, sir. Mr. Allen, will you please pick up where Mr. Pearson left off? So... Continue. By the end of next week, we should have covered all of Germany. Richard Pearson, eyes of truth protect thee.
angels of light, draw near and protect Richard from the dark forces that... Ah! I caught you red-handed. I'm very disappointed in you, Richard. I'm sorry, Mr. Vaughn, I don't understand. You're in enough trouble as it is. Don't compound the felony by insulting my intelligence. Mr. Vaughn, I, I swear to you, I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Are those your signatures and those expense vouchers? It looks like my signature. But I can assure you, sir, I never spent this money. Well, you admit to padding your expense account, then. No, sir, what I'm saying is that these are obviously forgeries. Well, who would do that, Mr. Pearson? What possible motive could they have? Greg, your employment is hereby terminated. Terminated? Wait a minute, sir, if we just sit down and talk... Save it for the Board of Review. Goodbye, Mr. Pearson, officer. Wait a minute, Mr. Vaughn, if we could just talk about this. You can return for your belongings tomorrow. Not until then. Mr. Vaughn, I swear to you, I've never stolen from this company! I knew it! You are a witch! But of course I am. You're not gonna deny it? Why should I? It's the truth. You're gonna cast a spell and make me forget, aren't you? No. Maybe turn me into a frog? That wouldn't be very nice to the other frogs, now would it? You know what happens to evil little witches, don't you? They get burned. Not today, they don't. We're taking you to see Dr. Peters now. But she's a witch! No, no, she's not. And believe me, I ought to know one when I see one. Oh, oh. Jenny! I was just pulling up to see you when I saw her sneaking into the house. I thought maybe you could use a hand. What are you doing? I have to get back in the loop. I was watching Richard, and he was just about to get fired. I was trying to help him. What do you mean? Oh, no. Richard was fired. He's on his way home. Well, you're a witch. Do that witch-like thing that you do and make everything OK. I can't cast spells directly on people. Oh, that's a silly rule. It was my last test before becoming a full-fledged witch, and now I've blown it. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can think of something. I can help. What the devil is going on here? Mrs. Pearson, I was just in the neighborhood, so I decided to stop in and say hello. I see. Well, it's a good thing you're here. I have some errands to run, and I'm going to be gone quite a while. Would you watch Deirdre for me? Of course. Perfect. <sighs> that was close. See what I have to put up with? Now, this is what we're gonna do. I'm all ears. Phantasma forces, seek out Mr. Greg Allen. Ah, there he is. Now, mystic veil of time, reverse Greg's fortunes.
Hi, Deirdre. Yeah, I'm fine, sure. Everything's peachy. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, your Uncle Richard's gonna be home for a few days. Kind of like uh, a vacation. <laughs> Something bad happened, didn't it? Yeah. Something bad happened. Where's Kristen? I should probably tell her, too. She left this afternoon. Something about errands. Errands? More like she got word of what happened. She moved out. Great. That's great. Things will look brighter in the morning. I promise. Come here. <laughs> so everything worked. The deal is signed and sealed. You seem surprised. Well, I never count on the check until it clears the bank. Well, not to worry, sweetheart. I'm in like Flynn, and there's nowhere to go but up. Bucky, champagne and keep it flowing. You got it. Congratulations. What's the matter? I thought you were here to celebrate. Not like that. Maybe this will change your mind. I'm working with some other associates to enhance my financial standing. What do you mean? Let's just say that my new position at Vaughn International is going to open up all kinds of new doors. What kind of new doors? Don't ask questions, babe. Just reap the dividends. Greg, I don't want to get involved in anything illegal. <laughs> What's illegal today is tomorrow's new hobby. Don't be so tight. I mean it. I don't want any part of it. Fine. Then go home to your unemployed husband. You're as much a loser as he is. <laughs> Thanks, baby. You made my night. Your three o'clock appointment called. They're running a few minutes late. Good. Uh, why don't you make those copies that I asked you about? Because uh, as you can see, I'm a little busy here. Fine, thank you. You're welcome.
just gotta keep the original expense vouchers in a secure place where you can get to them. Can't you just witch them away or something? No, I don't know exactly where they are. Oh, great. How are we gonna get him out of there then? Simple. Did you make him wet his pants? No. Come on. Go. Come on, Jenny, come on. Yes. Oh no! Traffic. Oh, <clears throat> no problem, no problem at all. Shall we get started? Started? I'm afraid I don't. Uh... Contracts, Mr. Allen? The final copies, that sort of thing? <laughs> right. Uh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> have a seat. Please. Mr. Vaughn. What's the meaning of this? Richard Pearson is innocent. Oh, please. If this is some kind of stunt. I have proof. What is it? Take a look at these. Very interesting. Where'd you find this? You may find this hard to believe. I'm listening. Well, it's like this. When we closed yesterday's meeting, there was a point I wanted to... Mr. Allen. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. You seem a bit distracted. If you're too busy, perhaps we should think about another firm. No, no, not at all. Everything's fine. <laughs> Mr. Allen, can we get down to business? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Of course we can. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, what? Are you ill, Mr. Allen? Leave me alone! Just... Job stress, poor man. Hello, Miss Windsor, Mr. Dawn. I'm afraid this is getting to be a habit. Would you excuse us for 30 seconds, please? Greg? Thank God. Thank God. I think the kid's whacked out. Ooh. Greg, you sickened me. If you'd spent half as much energy on your work as you did on your scheme to discredit Richard Pearson, I might have offered you the job in the first place. Instead, you betrayed your friend, and you betrayed me. Yes. Yes, I did. I confess, I did it all. Take me away, just get me out of here. That office in there, well, it's possessed. Well, we've got a nice, warm little cell for you downtown, and you're gonna like it there, too. There's more. I used my position to funnel for the mob. Listen to me, write this down. I took all your money. You have the right to remain silent. I wish you'd use it. 
I believe I can clear this up. Hello? Kristen, it's Carlton Vaughn. Is Richard there? Oh, I don't know where he is. He hasn't been home all afternoon. Thanks. I think I know where to find him. Mr. Vaughn? If you see him, would you please tell him to come home? Sure. Thank you. I hate to impose, but would you two care to come with me? We have a horrible wrong to right. Richard? Mr. Vaughn, what brings you by? You? I had a hunch you'd be here. We need to talk. Yeah, well, if it's about cleaning out my desk, I'll be by on Monday. There's been a misunderstanding, Mr. Pearson. We want to continue our negotiations. With you. Yeah, but I've been... Reinstated. With all the rank and privilege equal to the position of Director of European Expansion. That's a bonus from me to show you how sorry I am about what happened. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. What did happen? You're not gonna believe this, but this babysitter came to my office this afternoon. <laughs> A babysitter? Hey, sweetheart, where's Kristen? What is it, Richard? I got my job back. Oh, great! Oh. <laughs> not only did I get my job back, but Mr. Vaughn gave me the promotion. You're now looking at the director of European expansion. Oh, great. <laughs> what happened to Gray? Well, it seems that he cracked up in the middle of a very important client meeting. I guess selling out his best friend was just a little too much for him. <laughs> Sounds like a nervous breakdown. Yeah, well, you know, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Well, congratulations, Richard. You've worked so hard, and you deserve it. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we go out to dinner? The most expensive place in town. Cool. We still have money, right? <laughs> Give me just a second. I'm going to go change. Okay. Mr. Moran, what brings you by? Made all of the arrangements. It's time to go, dear. I'll go get my bag. Are they, uh, are they nice people? The foster uh, parents, I mean. They'll learn to love her in time. I can see how they would. Come on, honey. We gotta go. these folks get back to their normal lives. Well, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged, licensed, registered witch. Thanks. 
Hey, what's the matter? Isn't this what you always wanted? Now I'm not so sure. No, 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 wait a minute. What, what do you mean, you're not so sure? I mean, I'm not so sure. Mr. Moran, we're not going to need your services anymore. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> All right, what do you say we have steak and lobster tonight? Sounds great. But first, let's take this bag and put it into your room. Out of sight. No, I'll never be rid of that little brat. Unless. <laughs> Kristen. Kristen, are you okay, sweetie? I think you slipped on a banana peel. Are you okay? Who is that adorable little girl? That's, that's Deirdre, sweetie. Cousin Adam's daughter. We're adopting her, remember? How could I forget such a sweet child? Well, Deirdre, I see you've decided to stay with your adopted family. Too bad. You would have made a fine little witch. But if that's where your destiny lies, then I wish you much happiness. From now on, you'll be nothing more than a little girl. Enjoy your new life.